Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and in today's video we are doing a video I don't think I've ever done before which is shocking because I've been on booktube for so long and the fact I haven't done this video is appalling. It is my all-time favourite book. I was very selective in this video. I really had to filter out a lot of my older favourite books which I'm not really sure are still my favourites. Basically, I use my Goodread shelving. I shelve every book that I think is one of my favourites as a favourite on Goodreads. I am thinking about maybe moving away from Goodreads, so do let me know if you're a fan of any kind of Goodreads alternative down in the comments. But I went through my Goodreads favourite shelf and a lot of them were very, very old school YA when I first got really into reading. A lot of them I'm not sure are my favourites anymore, so I might do a video basically rereading my old school favourites and just trying to see if they are my favourites. But I have basically shortlisted the ones I know for sure are my favourite books and this video is talking through all the books that I have shortlisted. So before we get on with the video please do make sure you're subscribed to this channel and that you have notifications turned on and that way you will never miss an upload from me. So naturally the first book, my all-time favourite book, is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. If you are new to my channel you may not know that I'm a huge Austen fan and Austen is one of the reasons that I ended up doing English literature at uni in the first place, ended up starting my channel in the first place and I now work in publishing so I feel like Austen has been with me through that whole process. Pride and Prejudice was the first Austen book I ever read and I basically read all of her books after that. I think Pride and Prejudice is my all-time favourite but also Persuasion I wanted to mention as well, let me find that on my shelf. We have Persuasion as well, these gorgeous editions are the headline review editions. They are stunning, I don't know how well you can see these, but wow, my favourite editions ever. So let's get back to Pride and Prejudice. The reason why this is my favourite ever book is because this was the book that really helped me fall in love with classics. Classics are the reason why I wanted to obviously study English literature at university, and Pride and Prejudice was the first book that I fell in love with. Like, that feeling where you just do not want to put it down and you feel safe and at home in the book. This is Pride and Prejudice for me. I just love the characters, I love the romance, I love the everyday workings of this Regency world and the characters for me are the standout. You know, Mrs Bennet who is just the most like ridiculous character ever but somewhat lovable still, Mr Darcy with all of his brooding, Elizabeth with all of her wit and sarcasm. I just love these characters and I fall in love with this book every single time I read this which has been many many times over the years. So Pride and Prejudice is my all-time favourite book. You will not be surprised if you've watched this channel before. I'm going to quickly also touch on Persuasion by Jane Austen because this is another one of my favourite Austens. Persuasion was one of the last books she wrote and it was posthumously published after her death by her brother and Persuasion is a very kind of grown-up novel. It's a lot more considered, I think, than Austen's other works. It's one of the shorter books that she's written and honestly this is just one of my favourites because I really love the kind of setup of Anne Elliot, the main character, being an older character and realising that she has made an awful mistake being persuaded not to marry the love of her life, Captain Wentworth. So it is a very kind of like mature novel in that respect where Anne is older and she realises as she's gotten older that she was basically persuaded to make a terrible mistake and her family basically persuaded her not to marry the man that she was in love with. He then becomes a very renowned navy captain and really makes a name for himself and she kind of kicks herself that she missed that opportunity and this is basically about her you know, coming to terms with the fact that she might have lost the love of her life. So I adore this book. I love Anne, I love Captain Wentworth and I really think the message in this that you have to make up your own mind and go with your heart is one that I really love to kind of consider and carry with me. So I would urge you all to read Persuasion if you haven't yet. Definitely one of Austen's better novels and one I think that is really overlooked. We need a new film adaption of this. There's only one that I really love and I just think we need a new adaption. So 
Persuasion is one of my favorites. Okay, the next favorite of mine, which you may not be surprised about because I do talk about it a lot. It is one of my favorite series that I'm really pleased is still ongoing. It is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. So I do love Sarah J Maas's Throne of Glass series, which is more traditional epic fantasy. This is very kind of fairy tale, fairy tale retelling fantasy romance. And that is why I love this book so much. This book is pure magic and is extremely well plotted and well written and this was the book that really cemented Sarah J Maas as one of my favourite all time writers because I fell in love with this book head over heels. I must say I'm holding up Akatar here but A Court of Mist and Fury is actually one of my all time favourite novels. It's up there somewhere but as that is the second in the series i wanted to give this one a shout out as well because i do think a court of mist and fury the second book in the series is a better novel but akatar was the first book that really made me fall in love with this world and honestly what a series i adore 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 this book i adore a court of mist and fury also up there in my favorites and honestly this book is just pure magic i love that it is a very kind of considered beauty in the beast retelling i'm a big fan of beauty in the beast retelling so akatar is up there for me you may not be surprised to see me holding this book up but i'm a very predictable person so of course akatar had to be mentioned in this favorites video the next favorite of mine is one that i'm quite surprised is still a favourite of mine because I read it quite a while ago and really, really need to do a reread of it. It is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This was the first kind of traditional adult fantasy book I've ever read back in the day when I did read this. And honestly, it still stuck with me ever since. I really need to give this a reread because the Mistborn series, which The Final Empire is the first book in the series of, is just absolutely astounding. This is a world where the Lord Ruler, the Dark Lord, has basically won. He has taken over the world, it is extremely corrupt, ash falls from the sky, it is a very very dark world. And our main character Vin is basically a street urchin and discovers that she has powers called Allomancy, which is basically the power of a mistborn which means that she can control and manipulate metals. So this book is absolutely magical, very dark but incredible and this has just introduced me to the works of Brandon Sanderson. I really want to get to his Stormlight Archive series very soon because I know that will probably end up being another one of my favourites but honestly The Final Empire like blew me away like massively and I just became utterly lost in this world. I adore the Mistborn series. Final Empire is awesome. If you've not yet read this book please do consider reading it if you like fantasy this is an essential, essentially. So I think the reason why The Final Empire is one of my favourites of all time is because it has just showed me what fantasy could really be like. And I am so, so excited to get to more Brandon Sanderson's works. The Final Empire will always stand out to me as an incredible reading experience. So this is why it's one of my favourites of all time. Okay, so the next book is actually one that I don't have a copy of because I read these books on my Kindle. It is Devil in Winter, which is book three of the Wallflower series by Lisa Claypass. So I had to, of course, include some romance in here. Romance is a favourite genre of mine. Lisa Claypass is one of my favourite romance authors ever. She writes incredible, kind of more Victorian-esque romances but they're very regency romance in genre if that makes sense there's all of this traditional regency romance tropes but they are set kind of later on in the victorian era obviously devil in winter is book three in the wallflower series which focuses on a group of girls who consider themselves wallflowers so in a ballroom they stick to the sides they don't really socialize they stick to themselves they are not chosen for dances and they are very, very single. They are all looking for husbands and the Wallflower series takes each of their romances in turn and they all meet their prospective partners, basically. It is a happy ever after. These books are great, very romantic. The reason why Devil in Winter is one of my favourites is because it introduces a character into the series called Sebastian, who is Lord St. Vincent, who is one of my favourite romance characters ever. 
his like he has he is just like very very sassy and he is definitely a regency rake type character but he is set up with the character evie and evie is very very shy and very kind of quiet and very kind of insular and he definitely brings out a more darker more confident side of her and i just love their relationship together so this is my favorite romance novel of lisa clay passes and i would urge you all to read the warfare series or any books by her because she is fantastic but i wanted to give this book a shout out as part of my favorites video because it really is incredible but if i could choose all of lisa clay passes novels would be on my favorites video but this video can't last forever so i'll just pick one and it was a very hard decision but i do love sebastian and later series of lisa clay pass um definitely include his children who are also great characters so i wanted to shout out devlin winter it is an amazing book the next book on my favorites is a recent edition because i read this in the last year and it basically blew my mind in all the best ways it is where the crawdads sing by delia owens so this is a very different novel for me to read and i think that's why it really surprised me enough to make it on my favorites video list what a book so this is a like it was a massive bestseller a few years ago but if you've never heard about it before they are making a movie of it i believe and i'm really really excited for that film to come out where the crowd Sing is set on the north carolina coast in the 60s and 70s and it features a girl called kaya who is known as the marsh girl basically her and her family live out in the marshes and they are looked at as very kind of second class citizens and honestly they are kind of ostracized from society because they are uneducated and very very poor and kaya basically is an incredible character she outlives a lot of her family she stays at her house in the marshes and one by one her family kind of leaves her so she becomes this very solitary figure but over the years she develops a love for nature and the kind of ecosystem of the marsh and she becomes very entwined with the marsh she also has a romance and at the heart of this book is actually a murder mystery and you learn over the course of the book how she is related to that and you know how much she is involved in that murder mystery so this book is a very very special book in that it encapsulates so much and i think that is why it has basically become one of my favorite books ever not only is it beautiful nature writing and the kind of natural world is depicted so beautifully in this book but kaya herself is a really like lovable character that you just can't help but to root for and also there is that really gripping murder mystery element as well so this book has everything one of my favorites ever please read this book if you haven't already the next favorite book of mine is the poppy war by rf kwan so you'll have heard me talk about the poppy war if you have watched any of my videos recently in the past like year i read this last year and fell in love with it i thought it was hugely impressive for a debut fantasy novel and really just like well done really pacey really shocking this is grimdark fantasy and it's one of the first grimdark fantasy books i've ever read which means it's basically very dark and the characters do things that are very morally gray so this is basically about war it is about a country called Nakan, who has basically been at war with a rival nation called the federation for a while and they are just about to enter the third poppy war and it follows our main character called rin who basically is a peasant girl from the south who gets accepted into this very elite military school called Seingard. at the school she discovers that she has the ability to commune with the gods which means that she's a shaman and this book really does have all the components of an excellently crafted fantasy novel not only is there a war element but also the whole kind of magical plot and the fact that rin can summon the power of this god is really really impressive and also really really shocking this book is very very dark it is inspired by chinese history especially the opium wars so this book is just very 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 impressive and honestly i loved reading this book i'm waiting to read the third book in the series and i'm terrified of getting my heart broken 
I just love this book, really would recommend. And finally, the last book I wanted to shout out in this favourites video is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is also a general shout out for the whole of the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. And that series is basically a prequel series to The Mortal Instruments set in Edwardian, I believe, England. And honestly, it is incredible. If you've never read a Cassandra Clare book, you will have heard of the Shadowhunters universe. Basically, it is about these people who are half angel, half human. They have like very special powers and they're called Nephilim. And their job is basically to hunt demons. So that whole setup, like the Shadowhunters setup, mixed with Victorian England is like my sweet spot of like how to write Lucy's favourite novel essentially. So the first book, Clockwork Angel, is incredible. It follows our main character Tessa, who basically meets the Shadow Hunters and basically ends up staying at the London Institute, where she meets Will and Jem. And Clockwork Princess is the final book in the series. This book broke my heart so much that I was like sobbing for hours after I finished reading this book. Honestly, I loved every second of reading that book. It was one of the most painful books I've ever read. It did break my heart so much to the point where I was a shell of a human being after finishing that book. Like I kind of just got so invested in the world, in the characters that I was just lost. I was bereft after finishing this book. And for that reason, Clockwork Princess has cemented itself in my favourites because a book that can provoke that reaction out of you is a special book indeed. The fact that these words on a page made me sob for hours, like, I don't know, like a special book can do that, you know? And I think Clockwork Princess is definitely one of those books. I still love it now and I really do need to reread that series. So of course Clockwork Princess had to feature on this favourites video. So guys that is it for my all time favourite books video. I hope some of your favourite books are on here. Do let me know down in the comments if they are. And if they're not, please do let me know what your favourite books are down in the comments below. So guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very, very soon in my next one. Bye.